Victory is in my grasp. There's nothing he can do. It's time to send his soul to the shadow realm. There's nothing I can do. I pass. I activate Reckless Greed. This card lets me draw two additional cards. Now I activate two more Reckless Greeds. Now, since I have five water monsters in my grave, I special summon Mullen Glacia, the Elemental Lord. Let me discard two cards from your hand. Now I activate a Low Darkness, drawing two more cards. I then summon Rene Abyss Megalo by pitching two water monsters. Now my monsters attack! MIND CRUSH! <laughs> is a children's card game. Oh, uh, it's a children's card game. Um, Yu-Gi-Oh is a children's card game. It's a children's card game. Yu-Gi-Oh is a card game, not a children's card game. Both players make a deck of 40 to 60 cards, and they have duels with them. I guess it's more of a hobby for me, at least. I'm not one of the people who's seriously competitive about it, but I like collecting, I like sort of trading and playing more casually. Um, I play Yu-Gi-Oh because it's a waste of time, and I'll play Yu-Gi-Oh because it's fun. It's something to do. I have a lot of free time on my hand. So, it's just something to pass the time. I play Yu-Gi-Oh to meet new people, travel a lot of places, and have a generally good time. Uh, to play Yu-Gi-Oh, at the start of the game, the person going, you decide who's going first, the person who goes first draws five cards, the second person draws six cards, and every turn after that, each player draws one card. Um, and you use spells and traps to manipulate the field on your turn and your opponent's turn, and monsters to basically beat your opponent down from eight, from their 8,000 life points that they start with to zero. Locals is when a card shop that is in your area hosts a tournament on a specific day and a small group, usually of 20, 30, 40 people, come out and just play together for fun and prizes. Um, yeah, I enjoy playing competitively. There's a lot of money in the game and when you're good, you make money. So playing competitively is definitely worth it. The Battle City tournaments are events that Konami's holding for its uh, OTSs or official tournament stores. The basic idea is that for the store can buy a Battle City kit, which is a play mat, a few tokens, and some other stuff like that. And it becomes a Battle City tournament with its own unique surprise uh, prize support that cannot be obtained anywhere other than an OTS. So it's kind of catering to keeping stores tied to Konami in a way. Um, so I'm playing spell books today. I'm uh, not using the traditional tree, uh, tree priestess build. I'm using uh, world build. So it's probably gonna go awful, but you know we'll see what happens. No, I need it. Get seventh place and nothing. So let's go. Right now, I play Mermails. It's uh, it's a combo deck. It drops big beaters out of nowhere, and it's one of the fastest strategies out there right now. I play Burning Abyss because it's mostly it's based around Dante's Inferno. The centerpiece is Dante himself. It has a lot of strength for winning very quickly and drawing a lot of cards. The uh, current deck I run is a deck called Yang Zing, and it is a deck based around uh, monsters floating into each other, which basically means that whenever a monster is destroyed, it uh, 
takes another monster from your deck and summons it, so there's an endless stream of monsters. One, one, three. No. Okay, one, three, nine. That's me. I would say if you never played before, don't just jump straight into the game and expect to be good. With the cards that are out, it's a very complicated game and it's hard to get into, but... If someone picks it up and they really enjoy the general way of how it works and they hold a competitive mindset, they can enjoy this game.